morning. Welcome to this week's video. Thanks for taking the time out to um, join me again on this channel. Um, Starting the morning, a little bit perplexed. If you've seen my last video, um, you would have seen that I bought myself a new microphone so the sound quality was that much better. Walking up here this morning, I've done a 40 minute hike, I suppose, to get to where I am at the moment. I've lost it. And um, I'm gonna I've retraced my steps a little way but uh, no luck, so I'm gonna have to retrace my steps right back to the truck. Hopefully I can find it. Um, so apologies for the sound condition because it is a little bit windy again. With this lockdown, it's getting me out and exploring local places again. And um, so I've come up onto the Quantock Hills, parked at Staple Plain, walked up over up towards Bicknoller Post. Um, just to uh, try and get some shots um got one at the moment looking back down through this this valley here um i'm gonna use uh there's a there's a tree just behind me so sure you can see it uh, and i'm gonna use as a foreground interest um down through the, the the clouds start to break the sun's starting to break through so we should get some nice light in a minute on the side of the on the side of the valley here so um, let's get set up and uh, take a few shots okay with this composition uh, I got the tree in the uh, left hand third. Um, I've had to get down low to get the tree to, um, to, to break the tree, get the tree to break the horizon, get it to stand out more. Um, and then we've got the uh, into the valley in the background. Uh, currently shooting at F11, so 64. And shutter speed is Eight, eight of a second. So, um, take a few shots, see what we get. Okay, it looks like the cloud's broken a bit and the uh, sun's just starting to break, break through. So, just gonna stay and wait for a while here and um, see if we can get some nice light breaking through and casting some uh, casting some light on on the side of these hills and picking up some of these nice red ferns so I take the opportunity to get the flask out have a quick cup of coffee and wait for the light whilst I'm um, whilst I'm waiting for this light just strolling around having a look around just seeing what other compositions there are so um, hopefully I can uh, get a couple more shots in this area and um, and then make my way back to be honest lost interest a little bit this morning since losing that microphone it's uh, annoyed me but there it is we all make mistakes okay sun is just starting to break across break through above the um, above the clouds to my right um, it's just starting to cast some nice light. Just need a bit of, just need a little bit more for it to come up a little bit more. And I think we will get what we're looking for. Sometimes with this, it is a bit of a waiting game. Um, if there's one thing I've learned from my photography, um, certainly the landscape photography, is that lighting lighting is everything uh, it can dramatically change dramatically change a um, a shot from being a mediocre shot to to an incredible shot um, and you can have exactly the same scene but lighting can make a massive difference so it's sometimes worth waiting around just to get that light 
and um, try and get try and get the best shot you can whilst whilst you're in the area. decided to uh, play ball for 10 minutes or so there and it's still coming back again now um, I've just been uh, frantically moving around trying different compositions um, obviously did this one with the tree here and then if we come back up from back here a bit more um, using these two trees to uh, frame the shot slightly just to um, just to pull all the sides of the, all the sides of the um, image in hold it together um, yeah, I, think, uh, I think we've got a couple of decent shots uh, so I'm going to gradually walk back through the path I came up on now. Um, there are some shots out the other way. Now the, now the sun's up, the sun will be, be to the side of me. And there's some shots looking out over to the uh, back over towards Minehead and the River Seven or the, and the, and the Seven Estuary. So. Uh, um, Walk back that way, see if we can get a few shots back there. Walking back now. Um, the corn tox, if you've never been up on here, it's, it's not a massive hill hill area, but it's well worth a visit. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of my previous videos, um, where mostly I've done woodland, a lot of woodland stuff. So, uh, please go to my channel and check them out, uh, would be much appreciated. Uh, for now, just going to keep walking, see what we, um, see what we can get. In a couple of shots, um, there's three these three trees just caught my eye as I was walking back, so I'm using them. Um, I'm using the two on either side, but um, two on either side to to hold the shot together. One in the middle is a bit of a foreground interest, and then off in the distance. Um, we've got some some nice colours with the um, autumn ferns, and then way off in the distance, um, you probably can't see on here. Um, we've got mine in. Um, so just grab a couple of shots here. Um, whilst the light's nice, and then we'll um, walk on a bit further. I'm shooting at um, f11. 25th of a second uh, ISO 64 first thing this morning. Uh, early on we had rain, wind, well we've still got the wind, uh, but the sun's out now and it's 
it's looking rather nice. Almost, almost not a cloud in the sky, uh, but the light's getting a bit harsh now. So we'll stroll on if anything catches our eye. But um, hopefully, the one thing that'll catch my eye will be my microphone as I'm walking back through. Um, I'm not holding out too much hope though. So stick with me. There may be some more. Um, I'll come back to you in a bit. <laughs> You'll never guess. I've only gone and found it. That's unbelievable. I never, um, I never expected to find that again. But uh, yeah, we're all good. We got a microphone back. Wind is blowing. You can probably hear me now. And um, I haven't got to explain to the wife how I'd lost it. So all is good again. Let's um, walk on and see if we can find some more photos to take now. One happy boy. Okay, I'm just going for uh, one more composition on the way back to the truck. Um, using this tree here, um, the lights, lights coming off this bank, creating some quite nice light and shadow down through. So I'm using that as a bit of a line in front, using the tree as the main focus. Um, unfortunately there's not a lot of detail in the sky uh, which would have been nice but um, we'll we'll have to live with that one okay one thing to bear in mind when you go out with a camera go out to get some shots you're not always going to get a banger you're not always going to get the greatest shot in the world but the uh the secret is is to just be out out taking photos at the end of the day you're out taking photos you're out in the fresh air you're learning every time you go out you, you your eyes picking up things and you learn from what you're seeing you uh by taking a bad photo when you get it back you can learn from that you can learn from your mistakes you can learn from what you could have did done better how you could have compose that shot better um, so it's always worth just getting out getting your photos getting them back getting them on to um, getting them on your computer and and seeing what you've got okay I'm currently shooting at f11 uh, 50th of a second ISO 64 always try and get ISO as low as you can and on light uh, obviously it's nice and bright today so I can get my eyes so down um, so to make some nice sharp images um, f11 give myself a reasonable depth of field on this occasion and uh, to get the exposure right we've got a 50th of a second it's not looking too bad in the back of the camera actually, so I'm um, quite pleased with this one. watching another one of my videos hope you've enjoyed it um, emotions have been a bit up and down what with losing the um, losing my microphone but then finding it again pleased with that one um, 
But anyway, uh, until next time, don't forget, if you like what you're seeing, uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, give the video a like. That would be much appreciated if you like the video because it does help with the uh, help with the search options. And um, don't forget, drop me a comment down below. Always nice to hear a comment from people. Um, so again, hope you like what you see, um, and I'll keep them coming. Uh, check out the next videos. Check out some of my old videos. So until uh, next time, take it easy.